questions. Uh, great team win. Um, not great execution, but great team win. Tough environment, uh, 11 a.m. game uh, against a very good team that we have a lot of respect for. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, motivating this week to get them ready. All you had to do was show the film. A team that just beat the tar out of uh, Iowa the week before and um, really got a lot of respect for Coach Kiel and the way he does his business. So tough environment. First time I've ever been here. This is a, this is a, I don't want to see this on the schedule for a while. Certainly not November. But uh, a, great, a great team win. Uh, once again, I didn't say great execution all the time, but really in that kind of environment, not bad. Clay. Yeah, despite the <coughs> issues, uh, JT sets a single season record for touchdowns today, surpassing Braxton from a year ago. Wow. Uh, what does that say about his year? Well, I think you can tell the kind of trust we have in him that uh, in that kind of environment, you have to really hand pick who's going to touch the ball. And we have a lot of confidence in Zeke, and we got a lot of confidence in JT and, uh, you know, these kind of conditions where the ball's slick and it's like a rock when it gets that cold. And so uh, um, we have a lot of confidence in him. Like I said earlier in the season, we had no idea who he was. You know, I had no idea that this is what JT Barrett is. A uh, very clear picture of who he is now. Tim. Yeah. Urban, the, the two turnovers by Jalen mm. were huge and stuff. What, what, what was your message to him? Obviously, he kept playing and stuff. But what was the yeah. sort of the message there? Oh, you know, he's a young player. He's a freshman. That uh, can't we can't do that. So. Uh, you know, we're different than a lot of people. You know, I don't uh, just yank guys out of the game. And, and uh, if I see someone not going hard, then that's a different story. Uh, obviously, it's got to stop, or eventually he'll just lose his playing time. But Dontre's out, and so we got to have him be more productive. And uh, um, we're going to come right back to him. That's what good teams do. They pick each other up. Well, Urban, you guys obviously dominated the game statistically, save for the turnovers. You kind of did everything you wanted to do, and yet it's a seven-point game. What's the mood in the locker room? <laughs> Outstanding, uh, like we're one game away from winning the, the East Championship. That's what it's like, and uh, uh, I think they want to get the heck out of here. That's what they want to do. Todd, Urban, you don't get these opportunities very often. I guess you know, maybe you do, but um, what would be your message to um, people looking at this on a national scale? Uh, what would you take away from this game? Oh, I'd like to see everybody in the country come up here and do this. Come up here and play in November or whatever it is. What is the date today? November. 27th. Yeah, I, I, I challenge any team in a, any team in the country wants to go and schedule this one in November, whatever it is, and, and uh, against a very good team, have at it. Uh, that's that's our message. Bill, uh, two things. First of all, just how cool was it? And secondly, special teams. You knew Minnesota had good special teams. Yeah. You thought you did too. They won that battle. Oh, they won it because of turnovers. You know, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, kickoff coverage is just okay. Yeah. I, they, they're very good. Uh, they're, we're, we're both one and two, I think, in most of the rankings and special teams. They spend a lot of time on it. I, there's Jay Savell is our special teams coordinator. We coached together at Notre Dame a long time ago, and uh, they spend a lot of time on it. They're a they're well, really well-coached team. I mean, that's if you asked Paul and any coach in America, say, tell me about Minnesota after watching the film. That's, that's a top 25 team uh, that's uh, well-coached in all three phases. What's that? Oh, I'm bundled up pretty good, so it wasn't tough on me. But it, what, the the thing that was a mess was the the you know just the snow and the that kind of stuff. But it you know that that like I said, any team in the country come up here in the middle of November and go play, have at it. Second row, Bill. Urban, we uh, kind of think of JT as a strong runner, sticking his nose in. Yeah. Sticks. He goes 86. No quarterback has ever done that at Ohio State. Think about that for a minute. JT Barrett took one. How far? 86. Yeah, 86. JT Barrett took one 86 yards. Pretty good for a guy that runs a 5'5'40. Five, five, <laughs> Come on, coach. Don't with a, with a big With a big tail. <laughs> we'll do a couple more questions with coach. Uh, back third row, uh, Doug. Urban, um, you've talked about how you know, if guys are going hard, you're not going to take them out of the game, that kind of thing. But last week, you just had a couple things, a couple turnovers. This week, I mean, what? Do you just have to hope? They no, you don't hope. You just you grind them. And we're going to grind them a big time. And uh, I mean, that you'll start seeing if that, you know, and I got to evaluate that. That's a great question that you don't just keep going. That's not what I mean at all. We, we don't yank guys that now if I see that, then I go back and study that there's a loose ball, there's those kind of things. We'll get an opportunity to try to fix it, but then eventually they won't play. Uh, but we can't. You know, you're right. I mean, to go on the road, think about that on the road and, and those turnovers and still win. You know, once again, I'm not saying the score would have been out of hand, but if you don't, he's going in to score one, and then he gives it up on the seven yard line, so or ten yard line, whatever it was. But he's too good of a player that uh, we we got to get that fixed.
Okay, anybody else for coach? Go ahead, last question. Remember, real quick, the <coughs> JT's pick there. Is that a case of... JT's pick. Yeah, the... the interception. In, interception. Is that a case where did he throw the ball in the right spot? No, he should have thrown it to the inside, and he overthrew it. So two things you don't do on that player is throw it deep to the outside.